it's me, Savannah, and it's time for the next vlog. And this vlog is gonna be with Danielle, who is the head of our animal care department here at Gatorland, and she takes care of all the cats. Yes, so I do. who are we gonna see today? Today we are going to see Jabari the Servo and Lamasi the Bobcat. And are they gonna be nice? They are gonna be nice. I'm kinda scared of cats, I'm not gonna lie. They'll be okay. But I do love Jabari. <laughs> <laughs> he is pretty awesome. All right, let's go see him. All right. Hey there. Well, good morning. Hi. I know, you're so lovely in the morning. Hey, wanna play? He's frisky already. Woohoo! That's great. It looks so beautiful out here right yeah, now. This is when you come in here Danielle so when we come in here or when I come in here in the morning um, we let these guys out in the morning and we play you know we stimulate them we let them run around get their energy out um, and sometimes we feed them first or we feed them after it just kind of depends we like to change it up um, but we alternate who's on exhibit every day we have the two male Bob cats uh -huh. and they'll be out you know during the morning sometimes or vice versa so we switch who's on and off exhibit uh, to give them a chance to be out here and for the guests to see them but we come in multiple times a day. Um, they love our attention and to play uh, and to get enrichment. And Jabari's favorite toy is the tennis ball. Yeah? How did you find out that he loved tennis balls so much? We had bought a bunch of different enrichment toys and we brought them in here. And we had a bunch of different kinds of balls that he could play with. And he discovered on his own that he liked the tennis balls because he can actually pick them up in his mouth and carry them. <laughs> Whoa. Jabari's super fast. Now tell us about Jabari, where Jabari came from. So Jabari was given to us by FWC, uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife. Uh, he originally came from a different location. Uh, they didn't have the proper licensing to have him. Uh -huh. And he was only three months old and the state caught up with that location. And so FWC had to confiscate them and he needed a forever home. And the first place they called was Gatorland. And awesome. here he is. And who's this little thing? <laughs> That's a bobcat, her name is Lamasi and she's best friends with Jabari. We got them about a year apart, uh, but we decided to put them together so they would each have a companion, and it worked out beautifully, because now they love each other. Drop that. Oh boy. Ready? 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 Jump. Whoa. How high can a, how high can a serval jump? A uh, servos can actually jump about 12 to 15 feet vertically straight in the air. Uh, they're master bird hunters over in Africa. Uh, it's probably about 50 to 60% of their diet, so they'll sit in the brush, wait real low, and when a bird flies overhead, they'll spring up and catch it. Whoa! Ready? Ready? Jump! Oh my goodness! Good boy! How does he catch that? Good boy, can I have this? Thank you. Come here. Jabari. Jabari. He is hey. so beautiful. Hey. <laughs> Jabari, what's that? You go over here. What's that? Ready? You might jump for this one. Okay. Ready? Jump. A little bit. That is a beautiful cat. He's awesome. And these spots allow for awesome camouflage out there in the savannas of Africa and their back legs are longer than their front legs, which allows them to get that awesome spring straight up in the air. Now, I've seen pictures on social media of other African servos, and they don't seem to be as friendly as Jabari. Yeah, well, you see this guy, you know, he was hand-raised, um, unlike all the wild <laughs> African servos, but he was hand-raised uh, with lots of attention and love and hand-feeding and enrichment and playtime, uh, and, and he really is. He's a sweetheart. He's never... Uh, altered from that personality at all. How old is Jabari? Jabari is about a year and a half old now, um, and his birthday is in May. And this is full grown, right? He is full grown. She's smaller than the other Bobcats because she's a female, right? Yeah, mostly because she's a female. Um, and she also was given to us by FWC. She was originally found out in the wild as a tiny orphaned kitten, uh, which might have another reason to do with how small she is. She could have been in the runt of the litter. That might have been why mom had abandoned her. 
Uh, so they had found her. She went to a wildlife rehab center and then couldn't, <laughs> couldn't be released back out into the wild due to her complacent personality. So it's kind of the perfect fit since she has Jabari as her as her new brother now. She's so fast. She is really fast. Bobcats, too, are, are great bird catchers. That's why we use the feathers on the toy. Kind of simulates that behavior. <laughs> and anytime people can come by the exhibit uh, and see them out here playing and running around. Um, and even if they're not out first thing in the morning, they will be out later in the afternoon because we do alternate which cats are on exhibit. So they're anytime throughout the day, whether it's morning or in the evening, these guys are able to be seen. <laughs> are you coming to get me? Hey! Oh, he gave you the butt. Oh, thanks for the butt. What does it mean when a cat gives you the butt? It's a sign of affection. Aww. What happens if they give you the butt and you deny the butt? Then he may not give me his butt next time, and that's that kind of sad. I got your butt. Oh, you got what the you, butt before I got what the are butt. What are you? What are you supposed to do when a cat gives you the butt? Just, exactly what you just did. You scratch it. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, Thank you for all that, Jabari. Boo. You gonna try to get it? Get it. Can I have a bath? Can you drop it? Drop it. Good boy. Ready? Catch. <laughs> Ready? Hey, focus. Catch. <laughs> threw it down. I like your butt, Jamari. So those spots on the back of his... Oh, he got an itch. The spots on the back of his ears. Yeah. What are those for? So, because these guys actually have predators themselves, even uh -huh. though they're an apex predator as well, uh, with smaller prey, those ears actually look like eyes when they're hiding. So if something larger, let's say a lion or a cheetah were to sneak up behind them, it kind of looks like eyes in the brush when they camouflage. So it might detour that predator uh, just long enough for them to get away. Awesome. Shaking your hand. You gonna shake? Nice to meet you. you. Want this? There you go. Did you teach him to do that? Just now. <laughs> <laughs> Here, can you shake? Oh my goodness. Here you go. That's the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Danielle, for showing us Jabari and Lamasi. Absolutely, my pleasure. All right, guys, well, I hope you liked this vlog, and I hope you learned a little something along the way about African servals and Florida bobcats. Do us a favor, check that like button, smash that notification, oh! <laughs> smash, check that like button, smash that notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to, too. I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions about cats, so post them in the comments below, and I'll have Danielle come in and answer them for you, because I cannot. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for being a part of our Vlogmas. We appreciate you being here. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.